Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection review. This time we are caught up with the Shuttlecraft Set 5. I've been looking forward to this one. <laughs> we have the Starfleet Air Tram, the Starfleet Tug, Galileo Shuttlecraft, Type 8 Shuttlecraft. There's some real gems in here and we have some more fun ships for, you know, the motion picture and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to do individual videos of these. Uh, this will probably be the introduction for each of them until I go into the unboxing and stuff like that. But um, again, just want to say a big thanks to Eagle Moss. They did gift me this with no strings attached. So again, I will review it anyway because I was going to. Um, but my thoughts and opinions remain my own. And um, yeah, we're going, to, we're going to dive straight into it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite one is and uh we'll get the conversation going don't forget to check out the doobly-doo down below for all the social medias and if you want to become a patron to support the channel the link is down there as well your support is greatly appreciated so let's do an initial unbox and then we'll dive into each of the models she's a big box all right she is expensive as well you know um i have the other four sets of these and uh, they are quite pricey, but um, you can discuss that in the comments because I've talked about the price of these before. So let's get straight into it. Nice. So far, so good. Ooh, I like the painting on this one. Come on. Here are magazines. Come on, you can do it. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm going to strategically just throw that over there. <laughs> so here we have our four shuttles. Well, tug and shuttles. So we have our Type 8. We have our Galileo. We have our Tug. And we have our Air Tram. Be sure to check out the playlist in the bottom so you can jump from video to video. So we'll do it in numerical order. We're going to do 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I hope you enjoy and uh, all the playlists as I say are in the description box below. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future reviews of fantastic starships and spacecrafts. So let's get straight into it shall we? So folks here we have the air tram. We'll put that to one side for a second and we'll have a quick look at the magazine. So passenger vehicle length 12 meters active in the 23rd century and a crew of one So we'll bring that over there for a minute. So two sections, we have the profile schematic and um, just again, some uh, information on the profile of the ship. So this short distance public transport vehicle conveying passengers from earth to low atmosphere. Used by both Starfleet personnel and civilians, Starfleet air trams were a part of the transport network in the San Francisco Bay area in the late 23rd century. Indeed it was. As I mentioned, TMP, Happy anniversary, the motion picture. So you can see her kind of scooping in, landing there now as well. It's great, great scene actually. Great way to open it up. And nice to show the kind of budget of the movie as well, which was quite high. <laughs> Anywho, um, oh yeah, poor guy. What was his name again? Can't remember, but didn't have a great end. <laughs> here we have our schematic. Now we have our acutogram in here as well, which would be very similar. To this as well so i like these um i know some of the magazines have profiles on them um and they're just like blank but even though like oh yeah pilot seat obviously it just adds a little bit of kind of flair to it as well you see the engine compartments the the seats the ingress egress points avionics and stuff like that as well pretty cool gives a sense of kind of realism to these fantastical craft so there we go let's have a look at the ship shall we Okay, let's take her out. Here's our coup de grain. That way, even. <laughs> let's put that to one side. And we keep an eye on the model. So air tram. Tiny little, tiny little bases. So 1014A slash A. And we have our base as well. Base mount. 
standard flat one. Some of my models pop off hugely with those. And uh, here we have the ship itself. So let's get up close and personal, shall we? So here we have the Airtran, folks. Um, looks pretty nice at first glance. Um, nice sculpt on it. Uh, paint scheme. Looks pretty cool as well. These are actually plastic inserts here, which is kind of nice. Surprising. Um, windows are nice and bold. Nice detailing decals on them as well. So if I can get it into focus here as well. So you have your door window, your registry. A little bit of a kind of rough finish on the central trim there with a the slight small little paint bleed. But quite nice on the same though. Little scuff on that part as well. But life is tough on a little tram. There's actually another little kind of paint anomaly on that side as well, which is unfortunate to be honest with you. Like one or two, you can kind of forgive. Uh, but like when you look at here, 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 and then just a light, slight little blemish over that side, you're kind of going, hmm, my fingerprint there. <laughs> and you have your at side of it as well. So again, like we would have seen this on the big screen, but it's nice to kind of give it a proper once over in hand as well. It is unfortunate about those paint blemishes. Um, if you're looking at that side, you're kind of going, yeah, not too bad. Um, nice detailing on the uh, ventral side of it. If I can get that into focus. Hopefully that'll sit on the stand okay. And uh, yeah, there's our little air tram. Again, these small ships, you can't kind of dive over them too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice actually. So there we have our air tram folks. Again, these shuttles are on the smaller side, but nothing new there. Um, I'm sure at set five, we should all be aware of the size of these models and the pricing of them. So I'm not gonna kind of dive into that side of things, but uh, we're here to talk about what we actually have in our hands. It's a nice little ship. Um, it's nicely done. Mine just has a few errors on it, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but again, normally when you come across errors and you reach out, to customer service um there may be other avenues you can explore as well so do always remember to check out that uh, if you're not overly happy with uh, the one that you receive so let's check out the acudogram before we go and uh kind of see that in a little bit of its glory as well so there's the acudogram again we've already seen this in the magazine but we actually have the backing one here as well so very nice in a shadow box lit up from behind or just situated uh, behind the model itself. Let me know how you display yours and maybe share some pictures over on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Make sure to tag me. I'm normally over there as the Irish Trekkie or Irish Trekkie. Probably not too hard to find anyway where I am. But anyway, that wraps up issue number 17. So uh, be sure to jump over and uh, check out number 18, the Starfleet Tug. I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And again, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to Patreon and uh, become a patron of the channel as well. Your support is greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye. <laughs>